Hey guys, good morning. It's uh, 28th of July, 2017. Coming to you from the Hellenic Republic. So guys, uh, EU tyre labels. Uh, why you should ignore them? Why are they uh, misleading? So there's three things uh, on a tyre label, on an EU tyre label. Uh, the first is fuel economy. I'm not exactly sure how they assess fuel economy, but let's assume that the tests for the fuel economy are accurate. The next thing on the tyre labels are is sound. Now, given that tyre labels are for the purchaser of the tyre to help them make a good choice, you would think that the uh, sound rating would be for the driver, for the occupant of the car, but unfortunately it's not, it's from outside of the car. So that may, may be the same thing, it also, it may not be the same. But again, let's give them the benefit of the doubt on the sound, and then we come on to the big one, which is grip. Uh, and on the tyre label specifically, it only gives wet weather grip. The test was done, this is, uh, you know, the information on this test is widely available. So they've done this test on one millimetre of standing water, uh, breaking in a straight line. The tyre labels are supposed to be for safety. Less than 0.1% of all road accidents happen in a one millimetre of standing water in a straight line. Uh, the majority of accidents happen in the dry or in damp conditions and they happen on corners and for obvious reasons accidents which happen on corners tend to be much more serious than um, accidents that happen in a straight line so in that respect on the road safety grounds the the test is basically meaning um, but there's actually more to it than that there's a bigger problem than the test itself being because the test is so simple i.e. it only tests one condition, one thing in one condition it even specifies the temperature that the test is carried out in it makes it very easy for a tyre manufacturer to get good results in these three areas of the test uh, while in normal driving, i.e. dry conditions, damp conditions um, to have a very bad tyre theoretically it's possible to have a tyre that scores A rating in the EU tyre test uh, but in reality that it could be for normal day-to-day -day driving it could be the worst tyre you could buy so what brought this home to me was I was in a uh, tyre shop a few months ago looking for tyres um, and it was a big open area and uh, they had all the tyres uh, laid out on the floor there They had three tyres horizontally and then they had the one tyre on top of the pile uh, with the tyre labels showing and basically the tyres that had the highest ratings were the cheapest tyres that he had generally and also they were the tyre brands I'd never ever heard of before They also had like Continental, Dunlop, uh, Pirelli, Goodyear there and their tyres were, were scoring less uh, well when this just really isn't the case generally speaking with tyres the more you spend on the tyre the better the tyre is misleading not only is the test irrelevant but it, it's also wide open to manipulation where people companies just design the tyre for the test and um, nothing else just to get a good rating and it give, can give people, it will give people a false impression of how good their tyre is and that is a problem it's better not to have the tyre labels at all because they are, they're worse than nothing they are actively um, misleading people ok, if you can't rely on the tyre labels, what, what should you do? for me personally, from what I've seen, the best thing to do is uh, to look at um, magazine tests and specifically magazine group tests where they test a range of tyres against each other in uh, the same tests, same conditions, i.e. like for like tests. Also if you can take more than one magazine's test, in Google you can just go um, just type in uh, tyre tests, uh, tyre comparison tests, tyre group tests uh, and have a look on there and then you can get a really true picture of um, tyre performance and then these tyre tests are probably broken down into uh, different conditions 
i.e. damp conditions, uh, wet conditions, straight line braking, uh, cornering G, um, the better ones will also say uh, what the tyres feel like to use, do they inspire confidence etc etc. Um, feel free to leave a comment if you think uh, there's a better way, choose the tyres, for me that's probably number one. Uh, so that's the video guys, I just wanted to point that out, it's a, it's a bee in my bonnet. They've oversimplified something that's complicated, you know. Uh, maybe I'll do another video on uh, what the tyre labels should show, uh, how to make them better. I'll also put a link in the description to an article I did on the EU tyre labels. Uh, so you can get like a more in-depth uh, look at it. Um, so like I said, that's the video guys. Uh, please vote on the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again next time.